Well, I might be a little biased, but I'd say I had the best short-term missions team. I think I did. Our team was so fun, and they everyone was just so relaxed and so chill. I love the way mission trips bring people together. I just learned that just doing God's work and like working together, even when you don't know someone for that long, it really brought us together. You talk about how when you go on trips like this, you truly become a family. And I feel like I made a whole new group of friends, so it was pretty exciting. So it was cool to just see us all bond. Amazing to see how close we got. It was so fun to be with a team of young people, and they were amazing. I think we saw 21 villages. It's 20... 23 villages. We did about 25... 20-something 20 churches. Plus at kids' clubs and churches and Sunday schools and what have you, plus a five-day VBS. VBS with the children there at the orphanage. There are 115 children at the orphanage. So we were going from 8 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. And then a lot of times praying with the adults afterwards and uh, being able just to love on them and pray for them uh, and their church and what they've been doing. It was about spending time with the people there and that was it. Like that was what we were there to do is just be with the kids and be with the people that were already doing ministry there. We weren't just there to do transactions and to do mission. It was a relational team. We were looking to build relationship with one another and we were looking to build relationship with God. I really saw God's faithfulness in it all and I really saw that He did have a plan and that He was just kind of telling me that I just need to kind of step back and realize that He is in control of everything and He does have a plan and this isn't about me. It's definitely one of those trips that kind of just reaffirms like what I am supposed to be doing even here. I don't need any of my stuff. So if there were ever to be a time that like God was like, you need to just drop everything and go do this. I think I'm a lot more willing just to actually drop everything and do that. I think that's one of the coolest things that God showed me on the trip is just like a glimpse of what he might want me to do in the future. Hearing some of the stories of how the kids had ended up in the orphanage and just seeing the way they live and stuff, that was the first time where an experience like that had truly broken my heart. It's a dark place. Um, but you know when you are presenting the light, and it's amazing when you present the light, the light covers the darkness. The light pierces the darkness. Until you're reaching out beyond yourself, uh, you're not fulfilling any purpose that has any chance of making a lasting impression in this world. And so you know that it's going to have an everlasting impact. It's something that's relationship building and it will continue to go on.